Hi everyone, thanks for watching and today we're gonna be talking about uh, benching, some shoulder workout, pretty much like the upper body, pushing, pressing, all that stuff. So right now, one of the things uh, I uh, have to do is pause benching and it, I'm actually pretty happy about it because I started off really struggling for six by six or even um, what's it called uh, six by eight or six by seven obviously six sets of seven reps at uh, 155 I believe so 155 pounds was a little bit of a struggle for me and now I'm finally progressing over 135 so right now you're seeing me going at 190 the last one you saw me do was very taxing I think I just happened to miss my thought my thought went somewhere else on the last rep and pretty much made it extremely difficult for me just to push it and you want to have the least amount of grind as possible and so I'm at uh, my regular gym and it's very interesting because the weights are a little bit different they're more like the rubber type of um, weights so they're not the typical iron one and I feel that they're a little bit inconsistent in terms of what the weight is it's less accurate and that's why I do my best to alternate gyms as well so right here I'm doing the incline I apologize I didn't angle the camera properly and that the, it started to feel a lot a lot a lot easier now with the incline because I used to never do the incline and it's only 135 pounds. The only thing is it's, I have, like I keep on mentioning, I have long, longer arms. So the distance for me to travel all the way to my chest and on the lockout is a lot farther than most people. So um, I'm slowly getting used to it and I'm very happy about the results right now. I'm gonna start pushing it. Over here, I have to do some flies, and I believe it was three by twenties. So three by twenties. Um, again, I'm not used to going such high volume, such high repetitions, and it's it's going, it's starting to go really, really, really well overall. My body's getting used to it, so I'm also looking forward to be able to start going into the low volume. So anything in terms of three by threes or even uh, my one rep max, which my coach Josh has agreed to go ahead and test it in about a month time to see what my progress is. And I'm very excited about that, very eager because there's also the provincial competition that's coming up. And with the provincial competition, it'll give me a more accurate idea of how far or close I am in terms to qualify for nationals be happening really close to where I live so um, and the but this is only going to be for a junior I'm in open so for the junior it'll give me a more of an accurate idea it won't be as super accurate as I want however it'll definitely give me a better idea of which areas uh, I need to focus on which areas that are definitely I'm going to kill it and my guess is probably the deadlift my deadlift is ridiculously strong right now it just keeps on getting stronger and stronger it doesn't feel like I actually need to focus on that area at all so the the flies is with with the flies is like three by twenty as you see here um, they're a little bit tricky but you'll get used to it and afterwards I decide to go with the skull crushers now the funny thing with the skull crusher here I let my ego get in the way and I put way too much over here uh, onto the, the easy bar barbell and because of that um, I actually had to go and reduce it afterwards I was able to finish it just I just start running out of steam for the next uh, sets so I want you guys to remember that I am going to be po posting uh, footage with Josh and Josh is uh, the, in my opinion, the strongest power lifter in my 
division, which is the 74 kg. I've started gathering a few people that are interested and they, they told me what their questions were and it's nothing near what I thought they would be asking uh, for Josh. So he's going to be go going into New Zealand and Australia uh, in October. So when he comes back, I'm going to be asking him and he's probably going to be sharing his, his experience uh, with the numbers and totals that he's aiming for. So that's going to be very exciting and have a better idea of how, how it is to compete internationally. Um, you have to take into consideration that you have like jet lags um, and also the time zone difference. The, your body will have to adjust and it takes a few days and then when you have to compete is different as well. So just to keep a few things into consideration, those are some of the questions I'm looking forward to ask them. So if you have any other comments, uh, any questions you want, make sure you ask, uh, just post them below. Start leaving some feedback. If you like the video, like the video and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Nice. Got this uh, squat rack, and this squat rack, if you look at it, is a little bit tiny, but it actually feels really, really good in terms of the placement that you can do for uh, the handle. I'm actually just checking my depth there, and I didn't angle the camera properly, so it's going to be cool here. So I'm going for, uh, I'm actually going only going for 275, and yeah, that depth was good, uh, making sure that my hip is lower than my knee so over here I think it's finally my uh, working set and it just didn't feel right the way I, I lifted the bar so I'm gonna keep on I'm just playing around with it with the with uh, high bar and low bar um, in this case um, I'm guessing I, I decided to go back to low bar so 255 okay that was 